Hey, thanks for watching Brent Speed TV. I'm Brent. The Coyote Swap Mustang's back. V6 Mustang Coyote Swapped. We installed an MSD two-step. I am gonna crank this thing up so you can hear it. So it's out in the shop today. It's a little behind the scenes episode and it sounds wicked. I wanna show you what the two-step is and how it works. I wanna let you hear it and explain why I want it on this car. So if you've not watched these episodes, you need to. So this is a V6 Mustang. If you watch the very first episode, you'll see why I bought this car. Then we did a Coyote Swap. You're gonna learn about the suspension, rear end, transmission, engine, everything we did to this. But today it's all about the two-step and it is awesome. And it's an MSD two-step. So Doug's with me today. I'm gonna fire the car up, Doug. I am, it's already warm, just so you know. It's already warmed up. I'm gonna fire it up. I'm gonna let you hear the two steps. So you can see how wicked it sounds. Scary wicked. And then I'll show it to you. So give me just a second here. Okay, you have to agree with me that that sounds extremely menacing. And besides the race wheels and tires, this car, some of you made comments, it kind of looks like a sleeper. I wasn't going for that, but it does a little bit. But I'll tell you what, you line up by this car at the line at the drag strip, that sounds absolutely sick. So let's go up by the engine, Doug. And I'm gonna show you why I have this, what it does. And these things are so easy to install. I also have this little screwdriver with me. I'm gonna show you in a minute on why I have this. But here's our Coyote Swap, it's looking good. So an MSD two-step, here's what it is. You wire it in, all right? Most of this kit is completely plug and play. It's gonna plug into the coil packs, all right? There are only three wires coming off the control box, which I'm gonna show you, and you're only gonna use two of them. One's a ground, this thing gets grounded. The other's a choice of if you wanna activate the two-step with a ground, or do you wanna activate the two-step with power, all right? You have choices, you can use a button, you can use like the clutch switch, you can use relays, however you wanna do this. You can use your imagination to activate it, but it's very, very simple. So, why you have this, if you drag race very much, you understand that on a manual transmission car, you hammer it, your RPMs come up, you dump the clutch, you try to dump the clutch at exactly the RPM, let's say it's 6,000. If you have a car that's, uh, I should say a track, you have a track prepped good enough, and a car that's good enough suspension, you're gonna hammer the car, dump the clutch, you're gonna hook. The great thing about the two-step is, is you can pick, all right? You can pick, do I want it, that was like 6,000 or 6,200, something like that. Maybe I want it 4,000, maybe I want it less, maybe I want it higher than that. Depends how good the track is. So I think before I show you how this actually hooks in, which is really easy, and then I think we're gonna come back and do that one more time, because it sounds so badass. I wanna show you this little screwdriver, how you adjust this. So Doug, if you come over here, we chose to mount the little MSD box, okay, right here, right behind the strut tower. This is all the bigger it is. There's two knobs on this. Okay, so the top knob right here, that's gonna be like, you can pick 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. It's got a little knob with an arrow and this little screwdriver can adjust it. And I have it set to 6,000 right there. The bottom knob now is your 100 RPM increments. So you can pick, you know, 100, 200, 300, I think you get it by now. You can adjust that. It looks like I have that one on about uh, zero, one, two, 200. So this one's at six, that's 6,000. That's at two, that's 200 RPM. When you're racing, you can adjust this to see what do I gotta do? Do I need to go lower? I mean, 6,200 is pretty high. I have high hopes this car is gonna like dead hook. And it's gonna depend on the track. You know, I race all over the United States. You go to some crappy tracks, you know it's not gonna hook very good. And you go to good prep tracks, like I race in the NMRA series, the car is gonna dead hook to the point to where you could possibly break something. That's why we try to make the drivetrain as good as possible. But you can just tweak that with a screwdriver and then you hammer it and then the RPMs are gonna go hold right where you want it. And then when you release the clutch 
or a button or however you have it hooked up it's gonna hopefully hook and it's gonna use a normal rev limiter whether it be 7500 or higher or lower depending on your calibration setup but check this out so besides that box I showed you here's all you have to do you mount the box you run the two wires remember you got a ground you have a choice of a ground or a power to how you're going to activate the two-step underneath here if you didn't know this which you probably do watching this your coil packs are down underneath this cover right here this all this harness right here this is your MSD harness it's plug and play there's no splicing no cutting you unplug your coil pack one end of that wire into the harness the other end of the harness into the coil literally that's it tuck it all up nice zip tie everything keep it looking good you can put your cover back on and honestly you really can't even see it's there which I love like that engine compartment looks no different besides the little box I tucked back in right there but yeah that's the MSD two set well behind the scenes right here car's going good remember if you haven't watched all the old episodes you need to check them out you'll see about that fuel system we installed from Ford the Coyote I bought it's a Gen 2 everything I just want to share that two-step because it sounds absolutely wicked. I think the next thing, I'm trying to think what we're doing next on this. Oh, we're uh, waiting on our anti-roll bar to show up. So I have a Steeda anti-roll bar coming. I'll show you that when that arrives. We're going to get that on the car. And we're still waiting on the shifter. So as soon as that gets here, we're going to show you that as well. So I think, Doug, let's go back to the back of the car. I'll fire up one more time. Let you hear that wicked, wicked two-step. And... I mean, why not? I don't want to sit in here. You know, it's probably not good just sitting here, keep revving off that, but I'm not going to stand it for a long time. You don't want to sit there and hold that thing down for a minute, but I think it's worth for, you know, you hearing what it sounds like. If you like this exhaust, you will see that in one of the episodes. This Gen 2 Coyote is running factory 11 to 14 manifolds, running a pipes X pipe. We have some pipes mufflers with turndowns. So super simple exhaust combination sounds awesome. Let's go hear this thing again. Right now, I'm going to fire it back up. That is all for today. I've got a guy this car. I'll probably sit in here all day doing that and probably mess something up. So I'm here from Brinsby. Leave a comment. You have questions. And then again, you like this build. Maybe you want to build something like this. If you've got a three-valve Mustang looking for work or Coyote, F-150, whatever, email quote at brinsby.com. Don't forget to check out brinsby.com. All these parts you're looking at, we have free shipping as well as a new Coyote Swap section we're working on has a lot of links to all these parts and go watch those old videos so you know i'm happy to reply to your comments but these old videos are going to answer a lot of your questions that's it for today again leave a comment i'm happy to answer thanks for watching oh and one other thing they just busted my balls could not tell you to subscribe so please subscribe to this video and hit notify so you're going to stay up to date and once again thanks for watching